Good afternoon, everybody. Happy Friday. Hope you are enjoying this summer-like warmth. The summer is officially about a month away. Um, it usually arrives June 21st, June 22nd. That'll be the longest day of the year, meaning that that'll be the day where we get the most sunlight in, in the northern hemisphere. Um, you probably have noticed that the sun is coming up earlier and um, setting later. It's now after 8 o'clock at night. Think back to like just December and January where the sun was setting about 5 o'clock in the afternoon. So we're getting about three more hours at, at, the end of the, at the end of the day for sunlight and we're getting more hours in the morning too. So we're over 12 hours of sun of daylight. So our days are actually longer than our nights. Which is nice because when the weather is like this, you can get outside in a nice safe space with social distancing and enjoy it. Today, we are going to read chapter 6, Oppositosis. That's a made-up word. One of our friends at Wayside School is having a, you know, had a bad case of the opposites, but Dr. Pickle helped her. Eric Evans wasn't the only one who had noticed that Kathy had become nice. Others, too, began to notice her odd behavior. I like your picture, Kathy told BB. What's wrong with it? asked BB. Nothing, said Kathy. It's perfect. You are very talented. It took a moment to realize, it took BB a moment to realize that Kathy hadn't insulted her. Mrs. Jules noticed the, the, the change. Kathy, will you come here, please, she asked. Mrs. Jules, Kathy approached her desk, teacher's desk. Yes, Mrs. Jules, she asked. Mrs. Jules smiled. You have been doing very well, Kathy, she said. I've noticed a real improvement in your work and your attitude. That must be because you're such a good teacher, said Kathy. Well, thank you, said Mrs. Jules, but there's a tiny problem. I'm having a hard time with your reading homework. What do you mean? Look at it, said Mrs. Jules, knowing Kathy, showing Kathy her most recent homework assignment. What's wrong with it, asked Kathy. First thing we learned in psychiatry school, Dr. Pickle said as he patted DJ on the head. My hiccups are all gone, DJ told Kathy. Who cares, grumbled Kathy. Would you mind stepping inside my office, young lady, asked Dr. Pickle. But he's the sicko, said Kathy, pointing at DJ. Please, said Dr. Pickle. She entered the counselor's office. We are in like a flashback, kind of like to that point where DJ had hiccups and Kathy kept saying, you know, down every time he said he hiccuped. Um, so we're, we're finding out what happened in that office because they didn't tell us before. She entered the counselor's office. That beard is really ugly, and I guess your face m must be even worse, huh? Dr. Pickle didn't get angry. He just stroked his beard and said, Very interesting. Kathy sniffed. Smells like pickles, she commented. Very interesting indeed, the counselor said, and then asked her to sit down. Kathy sat on the couch. Lumpy, she complained. I'm going to try a little experiment, said Dr. Pickle. I'm going to say a word, and then I want you to say the first word that pops in your head. Stupid, said Kathy. I haven't started yet, said Dr. Pickle. Sloppy, said Kathy. Doctor realized he better, Dr. Pickle realized he had better hurry up and get started. Cold, he began. Hot, Kathy replied. Hard, soft, skinny, fat. This is kind of fun, isn't it, Kathy, said Dr. Pickle. No, it's boring, said Kathy. Worse than I thought, said Dr. Pickle. I studied your condition in psychiatry school. I'm afraid you have a bad case of oppositosis. No, I don't. You do. Dr. Pickle stroked his beard. Unfortunately, there had no, been no cure for oppositosis. Other psychiatrists had tried to keep, help their patients learn to be kind and think positively. Dr. Pickle knew that would never work on Kathy. He had his own theory, however. He could try to turn her oppos opposites into double opposites. He opened his desk drawer and took out his pickle stone chain and chain. Kathy watched the green stone as it gently swung back and forth. She fell asleep on the count of five. Can you hear me, Kathy, he asked. And I can smell you, too, she replied. You are looking into a mirror, he told Kathy. I am looking into a mirror, Kathy repeated, her eyes closed. Tell me what you see. I see a beautiful girl with black hair, she said. And I see a funny-looking man with a pointy beard. Very good, said Dr. Pickle. Now I want you to reach out and touch the mirror. Kathy slowly moved her arm. But as you try to touch it, said Dr. Pickle, you'll discover the mirror isn't solid. Your hand will go right through. She, Kathy stuck out her hand further. That's weird, she said. Now stand up and walk through the mirror. Kathy stood up, 
She took one step, then another. She hesitated a moment, then took one last step. Amazing, she exclaimed. You're on the other side of the mirror, said Dr. Pickle. What do you see? Kathy looked around. Nice office, she said. She said, smells nice, too. I'm glad you like it, said Dr. Pickle. Would you like to sit on the couch? Kathy sat back down. Very comfortable, she noted. When I count to three, you will wake up. But you will be on the other side of the mirror. One, two, three. Kathy opened her eyes. How do you feel, he asked her. Fine, thanks, and how are you, said Kathy. Very well, said Dr. Pickle. Do you mind if we continue with our little experiment? Sounds like fun, said Kathy. Happy, said Dr. Pickle. Smile, said Kathy. Smart, said Dr. Pickle. Mrs. Jules, said Kathy. Friend, said Dr. Pickle. DJ, said Kathy. Dr. Pickle led her to the door. Thank you, Dr. Pickle, she said, shaking his hand. You are very wise, and I like your beard. So now we're back to the present, the present time. What's wrong with my homework, asked Kathy. It's written backwards, said Mrs. Jules. Every sentence, every word, every letter, even your numbers are backwards. Looks far more normal to me. Do you want me to do it over? Mrs. Jules sighed. No, that's all right, Kathy. I'm just happy to see you're doing well. I'll figure it out. Then it's written backward. It's backward. Kathy smiled, then returned to her seat. All right, what will happen with Kathy? Okay. All right, the closet that wasn't there. That's Chapter 7. We'll read that on Monday. All right, boys and girls, have a great weekend. I miss you. Um, don't forget, if you're going to do that shoebox challenge, I, I think Mrs. Ms. Laracy shared that information on Class Tag. And um, I'll talk to you later. Bye.